don't worry, they're definitely coming this year, like 99.99% sure. We also have some leaked information on new second generation Ryzen CPUs, plus even more info on the anniversary edition i7-8086K. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Gamer Meld. Before we get started, I'm excited to announce the Gamer Meld T-Shirt Design Contest. It says a thank you for everyone who helped the channel get to 50,000 subscribers. Well, we're just a little short, but it won't be much longer. Either way, I'm going to begin selling merchandise, and one of the first Gamer Meld T-Shirts will be designed by you. And the winner gets $75, a free t-shirt with their design, a mention on the t-shirt page, and a shout out in a video. If you're interested, check out the rules and what I'm looking for on the GamerMail Discord server in the contest channel. You'll find that linked in the description. Okay, so a ton of people have been patiently awaiting NVIDIA's next generation graphics cards. And for good reason. For one, the upcoming cards, whether Volta, Ampere, Turing, or whatever, will bring with them compatibility for one of the biggest graphical overhauls in over a decade. And that's real-time ray tracing, as NVIDIA has already confirmed that their next-gen GPUs will fully support it. Then, while Pascal's been out for two years now, it's only been affordable for half of that, and no one wants to dish out on tech that'll be outdated in just a couple months, especially when it's priced what it was at launch two years ago. Well, I've got good news for those waiting. You won't have to wait much longer. NVIDIA's next-generation cards are in fact coming this year. Originally found by video cards, you can see in the itinerary for this year's Hot Chip Symposium that NVIDIA will in fact be discussing their quote, next generation mainstream GPU. The reason I showed the screenshot from video cards instead of the actual symposium website is because they've changed it now to, to be determined. Although I did originally see it on their website where it stated what video cards said. Now, the symposium isn't until August, but don't freak out just yet. While August isn't even that far to begin with, it's logical to assume the official announcement will be much sooner. Why? Because NVIDIA probably isn't going to unveil their cards at a closed door presentation like this. It's possible, but not likely. Either way, this tells us we're nearly guaranteed to see the new cards this year. Which is great because some were worried that with the lack of competition from AMD, NVIDIA wouldn't have any reason to. Of course, it's good to remember that their stock has been soaring thanks to miners, but with mining slowing and new ASICs taking the place of GPUs, NVIDIA wants to keep their value high. So this would be a smart move. Next up for today, originally brought to my attention by one of the GamerMail Discord users, the Ryzen 3 2300X and Ryzen 5 2500X have been leaked. Found on ASRock's CPU compatibility chart for their AB350M motherboard, the chips were listed with their base frequency TDP and cache. I say were because ASRock has since taken them down, but luckily we have the screenshots. Oddly enough, the 2300X is the same base frequency of the 1300X, but that may be the case with a higher boost clock. The 2500X, on the other hand, did get a small boost from 3.5GHz to 36 even though ASRock has taken them down, there's very little doubt these CPUs are coming and soon. Lastly, the Anniversary Edition 8086K from Intel, which I discussed in a recent video, has more confirmation. This time in the form of a forum post by Overclockers UK. He stated that pre-orders will begin on June 8th, and those who listed theirs are in some trouble for doing so prior to the NDA. With his post, he gives us an idea of the price, in that it won't go over £400 or roughly $533 US, which means it'll probably be right at it. That's definitely a hefty price tag, but remember that this is more intended to be a limited edition type CPU and not a next gen one. The last thing he says is that you can get the CPU in a delitted version, which almost guarantees the hopes many had for this being a soldered CPU have been dashed. That's unfortunate for many, I know, but at least there's that rumored 8 core to come soon. Right? R right? So while that does it for today, what did you think of the news? Excited for NVIDIA's GPUs? Let me know down in the comments below. Also, don't forget to post your t-shirt design for the contest. And as always, have a great day.